Gilligan's Island Castaway Deaths, Part 1. Which castaway was your favorite? Let me know in the comments. We all loved the comic adventures of seven castaways marooned on a desert island after a three-hour tour. The series aired for three seasons on CBS with 98 episodes continuing in syndication to this day. The show featured Bob Denver as first mate Gilligan. Prior to the show, Denver portrayed Maynard G. Krebs, a teenage beatnik in The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis. Some of Denver's other television roles included appearances on Love American Style, The Love Boat, and Fantasy Island. On February 7, 1971, Denver was arrested for possession of marijuana and pleaded no contest. In 1998, he was again arrested for marijuana, delivered to his home, originally saying that it came from Don Wells, who played Mary Ann on the show. Denver got six months probation. Later in his life, Bob became a radio personality, running a small oldies station in Princeton, West Virginia. He often made public appearances dressed as Gilligan. Denver was a heavy smoker and underwent cancer treatment and quadruple heart bypass surgery. On September 2, 2005, he died from throat cancer surgery complications, including pneumonia. Bob Denver was 70 years old. This is Alan Hale Jr., the beloved skipper. Hale appeared in more than 200 films and television roles from 1941, mostly appearing in westerns. According to Sherwood Schwartz, Hale often visited children in hospitals dressed as the skipper. In addition to acting, Hale co-owned Alan Hale's Lobster Barrel, a restaurant that he opened in the mid-70s. Hale died on January 2, 1990 of thymus cancer in Los Angeles. His ashes were sprinkled into the Pacific Ocean. Alan Hale was 68. Thanks for hitting that like button and follow me for more Gilligan's Island Castaway Deaths.